We have a problem that has a car leaving from Memphis and driving towards Little Rock. Now, we have the fact that uh, one car starts out going 60 kilometers per hour, which really is not very fast. And then a second car left home from the same point and uh, was trying to, or going down the same route and was going 75 kilometers per hour. And we're trying to figure out how long it took for the second car to overtake the first car. Um, we're going to go through this the, the sort of the long way, and then I'm going to show you a short, short method for getting the answer as well. But before we can do any of these problems, long or short, we need to have some background knowledge that will make it possible for us to even start that problem. Gabe, do you have any idea uh, of a relationship that would be helpful here? Sure. Okay, so what's that relationship? No, I am sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for paying attention. Yes? Rate times time equals distance. Rate times time equals distance. So we are going to have to bring to the party the fact that we know rate times time is equal to distance. And that is a simple relationship that you've had to deal with for years, hopefully, by this point. And so we're going to take this uh, equation and we're going to turn it into a table. And I, I can tell already that I'm going to need to move, not giving myself enough room. And I have two cars, so that means I need two spaces in my table. We'll call this car one and we'll call this car two. Now, uh, what is the rate of car one, Gabe? Yeah, 60 kilometers. So wh what do you think we should put in this box right here? 60. Yeah, 60. All right. What is the rate of car 2? Ryan? Uh, 75 kilometers. 75 kilometers. Now, here comes the tricky part. We know that car 2 left 20, uh, sorry, 2 hours after car 1. What is the amount of time that car 1 was driving? Rachel? We don't know, so it's just T. We don't know, so it's just T. Uh, and I could not have said it better myself, and that's why I was stuck repeating you. All right. Uh, if car one was driving for T hours, how long is car two driving for? Mason? Two T hours? Not two T hours. Two how, how do you say that it's driving two less than? Oh, T minus two. T minus two. All right. Now, if rate times time is equal to distance, what is my distance for car one? Riley? 60t. 60t. If rate times time equals distance, what is my distance for car two? Claire? 75 times t minus 3. And that is in parentheses, t minus 2. Now, when a car two overtakes car one, what can you tell me about their distance? Andrew? It would be the same. It would be the same, absolutely. So if the distances are going to be the same, then I can say 60t is equal to 75 times t minus 2. Right? Um, well, now what do I do? Because I, I really want to find t. So, so what am I going to do here? Lily? Distribute. Distribute, all right. So what's 75 times t? 75 times negative 2? And oh, I forgot my T. All right, so now let's see. I have a race. Let's see if you can find out what T is before I find out what T is. Mm -hmm. On your marks, get set, go! Mm -hmm. Tick tock, we're timing it. Oh, it's 10. 10. My goodness. I haven't even started the problem. They're telling me it's 10. So how do you get 10? You, you'd obviously definitely won. All right. Just, sure, you can come up. That's, what's, what's better than Mr. Framke's voice? Riley's voice. It's 
So first you have to get both of the, the t's on the same side of the equal sign. So I subtracted 75t. So you get negative 150 is equal to negative 15t. And you want t by itself, so you divide by negative 15. Negative 15. So you get t is equal to 10. All right. So if car one is driving for t 10 hours, then how long did car two have to drive to overtake them? Eight hours. Now there's a faster way of doing this. Um, I'm always a big fan of this table. However, I wouldn't be doing you any services not to show you the shortcut. So if I am driving, uh, if car one has a two hour head start and is driving 60 kilometers per hour, how far do they go in that two hours? They go 120 kilometers. How much faster is car two going? 15 kilometers faster. Oh, what's, uh, what's 120 divided by 15? It's 8. That is a lot faster. Seriously, yes. But this is the formal way, and I'm always a big fan of it, because <laughs> uh, your problem isn't always going to be two cars overtaking each other, or this is the proverbial, if two trains leave at the same time from LA and New York, when will they cross? Um, so anyways, two ways of doing this problem. The next problem is far more challenging, so I'll do a separate video for that.